and boys. I'm happy that we can have kids live again. And today I will tell you a story that you all know very well. The children remember the stories that we know well are often the ones which God can use to remind us. And not just to remind us, but also to teach us new things. Let's pray before we begin. Lord Jesus, will you please bless this story to us? Thank you for your word and the truths that we learn through it. Amen. Amen. So we're going to hear the story of Samuel today. And I trust that there are many things that you will learn, children. Do you know Samuel was taken into the temple? We're not exactly sure how old he was, but people say he could have been three or four years old. Just imagine a three or four year old boy taken to the temple, his mother leaves him there, and there he is. I don't know how old you are, but how often don't you say, Mommy, Mommy, I can't do up my zip. Mommy, I don't like this food. Mummy, can you please help me put my shoes on? Imagine Samuel, three or four years old, in the temple without his mother. mother. I think Samuel was a very brave boy. And children, I had to wonder, what did Samuel do in the temple all day? I wonder what he did when he woke up, when he finished his breakfast. What did he do? And the Bible does tell us that Samuel served Eli. Now I thought about this. Isn't it wonderful that a child so young can serve an older preacher or priest? I imagine that Samuel probably brought water to Eli. Maybe he helped Eli do some washing. 
Maybe someone in the temple taught him to read and write. So maybe he even had to do some schoolwork. But we read in God's word that as Eli served, uh, sorry, as Samuel served Eli, God's word tells us that he ministered before the Lord. Samuel did what he did unto the Lord. Children, that really touched me. Because you might think, I'm just a child. There's not much I can do for the Lord. But Samuel was young and he lived for the Lord. And you know, when we do things for the Lord, we do them well. We do them in an orderly way. And children, I had to think of Samuel, you know, when you wake up in the morning, off come the pajamas. And they land on the floor. And then you get dressed. And then you pick up a nice book and you get stuck reading a nice book. Oh, but then you remember as soon as time for school. So you drop the book. And you run out the bedroom. And you go have your breakfast. And you do what your mummy asks you to do. And you get ready for school. Now, children, I thought of Samuel. In the temple of the Lord, do you think he left his pajamas lying around in the morning? And the book that he read, which he wasn't quite finished with? And maybe his socks, when he's taken them off at the end of the day, do you think Samuel left them lying on the ground? Do you know, I doubt it. I very much doubt that Samuel was a sloppy boy. He ministered before the Lord. And I have no doubt that when he took off his clothes, that he folded them nicely. And he probably put them straight under his pillow where they belong. And when he'd finished with something, I'm sure he packed it away. His socks as well. I wonder if you're orderly there where you are as a child. Are you clean and tidy? Or do you go off to school and then mummy comes in and mummy folds the pajamas, mummy packs up the book? But Samuel's mummy wasn't there. So I'm sure he was very responsible. Something else about Samuel, children. He was faithful. Every day he served Eli, and he served Eli as unto the Lord. But it says the word of the Lord was rare in those days. 
bathi izwi likankulunkulu ngaleso sikhathi bangani lali ngavamile sidalo and i had to think about that what does it mean that the word of the lord is rare ngenxa yecabangela ke bangani ukuthi kazi lokho kuchaza ukuthini ukuthi izwi likankulunkulu lingajwayeleki children maybe you grow up in a christian home mhlambe wena mngani ukhulele emndenini wokukholwa and your parents teach you from god's word abazali bakho bayakufundisa bakufundisa ngezwi lanenkulunkulu and you can go to the church and hear what the preacher is saying so you can learn more about god futhi yakwazo ke esontweni ufike uzomfundisa shumayela bese uyafunda ukuthi ukunkulunkulu umuntu onjani but it wasn't like that for samuel kodwa ngosamueli kwangenjani it says it was rare that god spoke kuthiwa ngaleso sikhathi kwakuthukela nje uNkulunkulu ekhulumile I think it's because the people weren't listening ngoba ukuthi mhlambi ingoba abantu babengalaleli God was there but the people didn't care to listen uNkulunkulu wayekhona ngaleso sikhathi kodwa abantu babengafuna ukulalela Samuel was different Samuel wayehlukile I think he had an ear and he wanted to hear the Lord speaking Waye nendlebe yokuza ukuthi uNkulunkulu uzothina. But it didn't happen very often. Kodwa lokho nakho akwenzekanga isikhathini ningi. But in God's word we hear how one day Samuel went to bed. Kodwa ke ezweni ka uNkulunkulu siyeza ukuthi ngelinye ilanga uSamuel wahamba oyolala. Eli was also in bed because Eli was an old man by now. Ngaleso sikhathi naye ueli wayesehambile seyolala futhi wayesegugile phela. Now Samuel was a little bit older when this happened. Usamuel wayesekhulile ngaleso sikhathi ngesikhathi lokho kwenzeka. And he was lying in his bed. It wasn't dark yet. It said the lights were not quite out. Ukuthi wake ngaleso sikhathi wayesehambile olala kwangakabi mnyama kakhulu kodwa kwasekhlwile bangani. Now one evening Samuel was lying in bed. Ngolunye usuku ke sekuntambama sekuhlwile usamuel wayelele embedeni and all of a sudden he heard Samuel Samuel wase khona lapho wezwa izwi Samuel Samuel Yes my lord speak I'm listening How now Samuel had run jumped out of bed and he ran to Eli and he said Yes my lord speak I'm listening Bangani wavuka Samuel wagijin wafika wathi yebo nkosi khuluma ngilalele And now Eli who was in his bed said go back Samuel I didn't call you go back to bed Hay u Eli wayilalele wathi hayi bo Samuel uyele embede nange kubizanga mina But Samuel he was still lying awake in his bed Kodwa Samuel yena wayelele kodwa engalele ukuthonga embedeni wakhe. And again he heard Samuel Samuel waphinda wezwa futhi Samuel Samuel Yes my lord speak I'm listening Samuel came so quickly Usamuel wafika ngokuphuthuma washamaza wafanayo futhi ukuthi khuluma inkosi ngilalele He thought that Eli had called him Wayecaba ngokuthi Eli wayembizi. And Eli said to him, Samuel, I didn't call you. What it Samuel angikubizanga. But Samuel, maybe God is calling you. Kodwa Samuel, mhlambo uNkulunkulu lona okukhuluma nawe. Maybe you are hearing God's voice. Kungenzeka Samuel ukuthi uzwa izwi likaNkulunkulu. And Eli said to Samuel, Samuel go back to bed. I said to you Samuel, hamba yolala. And when you hear God speaking, uma uza uNkulunkulu ekhuluma. Say, here am I, God. Wothi, ikosi ngilapha khuluma. Children, wonderful, wonderful story. Bantwana, indaba emnandi leni. That a little child that God chooses to call and speak to a little child ukuthi uNkulunkulu engakhetha umntwana omncane ukuba khulume naye in a time when god's word is rare ngesikhathi lapho izwi likaNkulunkulu lingajwayelekile do you know samuel was faithful niyazi ke bangani usamueli wayethembekile he was brave and courageous without his mother 
He was diligent and orderly. He could be trusted. He was a servant to Eli and to the Lord God Almighty. And they say when he was about 12 years old, God could speak to him. And I thought of all the children who watch Kids Live. Can the Lord Jesus speak to you too? Are you listening? And when you hear him call, will you run as Samuel did? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for Samuel. Hundreds of years later, we read the story and we're blessed by this young boy. Help us to be faithful and to listen for your voice. Thank you, Lord, and keep us all. Amen. Amen. Thank you.